What is going on, everybody? Welcome to the next episode of Hitman Codename 47. We have now made it to Mission 10, titled Plutonium Runs Loose. By far, the hardest level in the entire game. For a multitude of reasons. We have to eliminate our target, Boris, or Arkadij Chigorov, and we have to disarm a nuke. And then we have to steal his ship to escape. The map is very big. And there's soldiers everywhere. The gates are blocked off by, by guards. And it's really hard to get through the gates unless you know the trick. This mission has a lot of dick moves on the, on the, on the part of the developers. The first one is the gates. There's no way through them without getting caught unless you either kill all the soldiers guarding them or you do the trick that I will be showing off in this walkthrough. And what makes it worse is that at the very beginning of the mission you absolutely have to get through one of these gates. There's no other way around. So. What I'm going to show you is, in my opinion, the best way you can get through this mission, considering how massive and how, just how difficult it is. So I, I screwed up the first take, so my equipment's already selected, but uncheck the fiber wire and take the knife. You want your trusty Beretta 92 silenced, and go ahead and Go ahead and max out on ammo. If you want to be safe, you can bring an MP5 SD and max out on ammo. You have more than enough money. But we can find one of these in the actual mission itself, and we, we may not even use it. So I'm not even going to bring it. But let's get started. First trick is getting up this ladder. Pull out your knife. Just run up behind him. And then immediately take his clothes and do the same thing to this soldier so that he doesn't find the body. Now we'll get up to this guard right here and we're going to walk through, wa not walk through him, walk with him. This is the trick to getting through the gates in this mission. If you walk with one of the gate patrols, the guards will not mess with you. If you don't, then they will not let you through. As soon as you're through, you can run off. And here's another gate. We just have to chill out here until a gate patroller comes by, allowing us to get through. And e this trick will not work if they're on the opposite side of the gate. You have to be walking with them on this side, on or whichever side you're on. <coughs> One thing interesting about this mission is that I think this is the only level in the whole game where, if you're dressed as a guard, it's inconspicuous to have a knife equipped. So if you accidentally equip it, or you forget to holster it, then the enemies won't aggro if they see you. So before we go to the pier where the actual ship is, we want to go to the we want to go to the third pier, um, all the way at the other end of the map, because over there is a tractor trailer truck with supplies, which I'm assuming the agency supplied us with. So once you're through the gate, we can proceed. Stay pretty close to the right here, because there's dogs over there. And I do, do not want them to see us, but if you're not anywhere near that gate to the left, then the dogs won't be a problem.
and we're gonna go over here get through one more gate before we get to um, the pier where the truck is here comes our the patroller we're gonna follow so yeah the first challenge of this mission is that you have to you have to find the pier where the ship is well it's if you look at the map it pretty much tells you where it is the trick is getting to it because the majority of this mission is just a big barren harbor with a bunch of soldiers scattered all over the place and there's dogs too okay so just carefully get through and we will continue the dogs are located at the north end of the map and the far east, which is where we're going right now. This pier with where the trucks are is only guarded by dogs, and we're going to have to run into two of them, so once you're here you can get your pistol ready. One of them is right here behind this train platform. Let them let them see you and then line up a shot. Yeah, we're gonna unfortunately we have to do it again. <laughs> Slurring my words. We have to do it again. There's another dog over here where the trucks are. And this truck that's open has the supplies. The key thing we need is this car bomb. We'll take an MP5 SD also. We also need some sniper ammo and we definitely want to take this sniper. Here's the next dick move on the developer's part. Well, I say dick move for lack of a better term. If you come over to this area where the trucks are, the gate patrols stop. They will no longer um, guard or patrol through the gates anymore. They will instead run to random positions and stand guard, like this guy. So you're going to want to take the sniper out of the truck because now that there's not any now that the gate patrol stopped which really sucks we have no choice but to kill all the soldiers to get through the gates but with the sniper that's gonna make that much easier to do so you can go up this fire escape right here There's a soldier right here. Then get the two at the gate. Then veer off to the right a little bit and get the guy overlooking the gate. Right there. Once you get all fucked four of them, you can move up closer to the gate. About right here, where this barrel is. And then get the ones at the next gate. If you miss, just shoot again. And then the sniper is on the roof, the roof of the warehouse to the right. After the, if you do that the way I did, the gates will be clear and you can get through no trouble. That's because the gate patrols just have to stop their patrols when you go to get the supplies. I guess they did that to make this mission harder. As if it's not hard enough. So our target's car is located over here. What we want to do 
Eliminate that soldier that's circling. There's two soldiers circling around the warehouse that the um, car is parked in front of. Knife that... You knife one of them as soon as they're around this corner. Wait for the other one. As soon as the other one sees the body and runs to it, you can pull out your pistol and line up a headshot. Okay. I killed that guard too late. My intention was to headshot this one to draw the attention of him and then do the same thing to him. But it, it was too far away for that to happen. Hey, what are you doing here? So... What I have to do instead is just... Um, kill this guy f at the car. A good way to do that is to try to get close to the car from this other side right here. That way he'll turn around, and then you can sneak up behind him easier. As soon as he's gone, equip that car bomb and then plant it. Unlike the car bomb back in mission 2, this one is this one is going to detonate itself, so we do not have to trigger it manually. It will automatically detonate. I'm guessing through the car's ignition. But now that that's in place, we can finally get on board the ship. This crew member is just sitting here begging to be to be taken out for the skies. And we're gonna do that in just a minute. This warehouse also has two soldiers circling around it. I'm not gonna go through the trouble of taking them out, but just wait for him to be way over towards that way. And then you can safely eliminate this crew member. And then quickly hide him here. Take his clothes. And we are good to get on board. So we'll go down here. Go down here. And this is the part where we have no choice but to go loud. We have to fight off the engineers in order to get to the nuke. Hey! He's in the engine room! And Ivan. Remember him from the last mission? So just clear the engine room, there's three engineers, and then Ivan himself. So our target armed the nuke, and he's trying to escape. But literally within seconds, we can disarm the nuke. And now we can just chill and watch the cutscene as soon as the target makes it to his, to his car. That was a little fast, so in case you didn't follow, we calmly walk down here, and then what you can do is when his head is turned the other way, you can pull out your pistol and then bop him, and then quickly pull out that SMG we took, and then you should be able to gun down the, 
one of these engineers, at least one of them. This time we lucked out and got both. And then Ivan, from the last mission, is down here too. You'll have to drop him also. But before we try to escape, or steal the ship, there's one more engineer that's scripted to shut off the engine as you try to escape. But I'm going to show you where he's hiding so that you can kill him in advance and avoid that scripted event. He's right here. Easy peasy. I recommend you walk up these stairs because if you run up them, it takes forever. <laughs> so now we're gonna go up to the bridge. The only person that should be left on the ship is the captain. If you sneak into the bridge from the right hand side, you can sneak up right behind him and get him. And then start engine. And there you go. Send him to me soon, Doctor. I have some errands for him to run. In Hong Kong, he will be a most unpleasant surprise to my enemies. Professor, does he know that we are his fathers? Not yet, but I'll send him to visit you when he is finished. Then you can tell him the good news. On the topic of the story, um, Boris did have another letter on him if you, if you didn't kill him with the car bomb, but we weren't able to see it. And it's not that important anyway. But there you go. Very difficult mission, but... This is the best way you can do it. You don't have to spend too much money on equipment, and it's mostly fail-proof. There are definitely some tricky parts, but you can definitely get through the mission every time this way. But we are now in the home stretch because we only have two missions left to go, and I will see you next time when I do them.